How to ride the trams in Melbourne, Australia. I'm Chris, this is Yellow Productions. I do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to ride these streetcars right back here that have been plying around Melbourne since the late 1800s. Melbourne has the world's largest urban streetcar network. It has over 250 kilometers of track, over 500 trams, over 24 routes, 1,763 stops, and 200 million passengers a year ride these trams. So I will tell you how to ride them. So the first thing you'll probably wanna know is how much do they cost? And uh, actually, if you're riding them just within the city center, they have this thing called the free tram zone. Within the free tram zone, it's entirely free. So what do you need to do to ride it? All you do, if you're riding within the central business district in the free tram zone, just get on and then get off. You don't need to pay, you don't need to tap anything, just ride it within the city center. Now, if you're riding it outside of the city center, you'll need to pick up this thing called a MyKey card. It's a little IC card and you use it basically to tap on to the trams. Yes, you only tap on to the trams. And you only tap on to the trams if your ride is taking you outside of the free tram zone. You would never tap off on a tram, with the exception of if you're traveling in what they call zone two, which is the outskirts of the city, and if you're only in zone two, then the fares are a little bit cheaper. On a weekday, a two hour tram ride, two hours basically you can ride trams as long as you want from the time you tap on, uh, is four dollars and 20 cents. Four Australian dollars and 20 cents. And, uh, so if you tap a second time in a day, <clears throat> then that'll essentially give you all day riding. So if you ride twice, then you can ride as many times that day for the same price. So one ride, $4.20, two rides, $8.40. And you don't need to do anything different, just use that card. So where can you buy the MyKey cards? You can buy them uh, at train stations. They have these like vending machines, they'll say MyKey. You can also buy them at 7-Elevens and you can put money on it in two ways. You can put cash on it, which is like a a per ride type thing, or you can load it up for multiple days. Uh, and so I actually did that because I was here for a week. I loaded it up for a one week uh, bit of time. It was about 40 Australian dollars and the card itself costs six Australian dollars. Or you can load it up with cash and then pay as you go. Uh, and by the way, in case you wonder where I'm standing, where all these uh, cable cars are at, I am front of the Parliament House in Melbourne. <clears throat> and uh, so these are little uh, Burke Streets right behind me. This is one of the major tram car throughways. This tram car right back here, these old trams, these are the city circle trams. These are particularly good for tourists. If it's your first time in Melbourne, check out one of those. They do a lap around the city and uh, they have like an audio guide. They tell you what you're looking like. They tell you what you're looking at. They're vintage and so you might not want to use those for regular transportation because these new green ones, they sure are a lot more comfortable. The other thing they do with these historic cars is they have this thing, wow, those are loud. They have this thing called the Colonial Tram Car Restaurant and you can actually have lunch or dinner riding around in one of these tram cars. Lunch is about $100, dinner is about $150. Uh, you basically pick them up behind the Melbourne Convention Center at set times. So if you think uh, having dinner in a tram is cool, definitely check that out. Also, if you wanna know the times that these trams go, the station all have very good signs that tell you the frequency of the trams. Many of the major tram stations have digital signs that'll tell you when the next tram is departing for each of the various routes that get there. And finally, if you have a mobile device uh, and you have Google Maps, Google Maps uh, integrates with the um, route network for Melbourne. And so it'll tell you what time the next tram is. It'll give you tram route suggestions. There's also another app called the um, tram tracker. The tram tracker is put out by the city of Melbourne by Yara Trams that runs the trams uh, and that one gives you real-time tram status. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up below. If you haven't yet subscribed and you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button to subscribe for new, fun, informative travel videos every week. Or you might enjoy watching some of the other videos from my Melbourne series. Click either of them to watch. You know you want to. All right. Well, bye-bye. Uh,